residents and city officials met last night for a town hall meeting to address community concerns. KTEX's reporter Copeland Waltz was at that meeting and has more on how residents felt. I'm still not happy. I don't think any of us have, have reached a happy point. That was Glenda Farmer. She went to the town hall meeting, but says instead of answers, city officials danced around her questions. I, I think it brought up a lot of questions that needed to be answered. I don't think we got our answers, but I think that uh, this is the closest we're going to get for a while to get the answers. You know, um, they're trying to do a job. They uh, have overspent and now they're trying to recover. So it's, it's going to be an ongoing process. I, I know there was a, a little bit of anger from both sides, but there's a whole lot that's got to be transparency and, and we'll figure out what's going on. But we need help. You know, we need help understanding it. And the citizens of Clyde just aren't putting up with it anymore. How much revenue has it generated? Residents voice their concerns about many issues within the city, including the money spent on the pipeline to transport water from Lake Fort Phantom Hill in Abilene, the multi-million dollar sports complex, and the increased water rate that was adopted at the September City Council meeting. Well, I'd just like to have actually got a, a few actual true answers of, you know, just how much it is going to cost them and how much the, that percentage is honestly going to work. Uh, they screwed this up so bad, why would you let them try to fix it anyway, get somebody new in here? That was Matt Holmes, and he told us he was frustrated because after asking city officials questions, they told him they didn't have the answers with them. And Holmes was not the only resident that was met with this response. Many say they are still concerned about the city's lack of transparency. You know, there's a lot. I think that they're understanding that we just, I don't think we're going to stand for it anymore. It's time that, that we turn this around. It's a beautiful city. There's great people here. I've only been out here since 2013. I don't want to leave. But um, I think it's time that the citizens of Clyde actually get to be a part of this and we turn things around. The town hall meeting lasted nearly two hours and residents say they walked away still desperate for a solution. In Clyde, I'm Copeland Welch, K Texas News. Thank you, Copeland.